In today's video, I'll show you how to remove bloatware. You don't need a computer, you don't need root access, and yes, it's completely safe as long as you follow every step carefully. Step 1. Install the apps. First, download the Shizuku app from the Play Store. Just search for Shizuku and install it. Now, the second app, Kanta D Bloater, on the Play Store. You'll need to download it. Don't worry, I've added the link in the description below. Step 2. Prepare your phone. Go to Settings and scroll down. Tap on About Phone. Now tap on Software Information. And tap on Build Number several times until you see the message, you are now a developer. After that, go back to the main settings screen and open Developer Options. Inside Developer Options, scroll down. First, turn on USB debugging. Then, scroll further down and enable wireless debugging. Done. Now let's move to the next part. Step 3, set up Shizuku. Open the Shizuku app. Tap on the pairing option. It will ask for notification access, go ahead and grant the permission. Next, Shizuku will take you back into the developer options screen. Scroll down. Tap on wireless debugging. Then tap on pair device with pairing code. A new screen will appear showing a six digit pairing code. Now Shizuku will show you a notification asking you to enter this code. Type in the code, then tap send. If the code is correct, Shizuku will connect successfully. Once connected, go back to the Shizuku app and tap start. That's it. Shizuku will now run in the background. Your phone is fully prepared. Step 4. Remove bloatware with CAN. Now, open the Kanta app. On the main screen, you'll see a complete list of all apps installed on your device. This includes both regular apps and system apps. To make things easier, tap on the filter menu at the top right corner and select only system. Now the list shows only those pre-installed apps that normally can't be deleted. Scroll through the list and find the apps you don't need. For example, on my Samsung phone, I want to remove the Samsung Global Goals app, which is just a news and content feed app. So, I'll search for Samsung Global Goals in Shizuku, select it, and tap the delete icon. Kanto will request access through Shizuku. A confirmation will pop up, I'll confirm it. And just like that, the app is gone. If I try searching for it, you'll see it's no longer on my phone. I can repeat the same steps for other bloatware apps. For example, the AR Zone app, which I don't use because I never use AR functions. Important note. If you're not sure about an app, simply tap on it to see more details, or look it up online before deleting it. Step 5. Restore deleted apps, if needed. Now, what if you accidentally delete an important app? Don't panic, Kanta has a built-in restore option. Just go to the deleted tab. You'll see a list of apps you've recently removed. Select the one you want to bring back. Tap reinstall. And wait a few moments. The app will be restored, just like before. That's the best part about this method, it doesn't touch your system partition. It only removes apps for your user profile. That's why restoring them is so quick and easy, just one tap, and it's back. Sparkle's final thoughts. And that's it.